Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So I'm back again with another food haul. Now this food haul is only to last us from today, which is Tuesday, until Friday. And then I go shopping again on a Saturday. And then I go shopping again on a Tuesday. This week's meal haul, I've tried to do on a budget as we are approaching the end of the year now I've got three kids birthdays coming up before Christmas and I am hoping to make some cutbacks and do some budgeting so with the cost of living at the moment and the prices keep going up I do need to make some cutbacks and budget better so that we can afford all these birthdays and Christmases so for this lot of shopping, I spent roughly £50. We do have a couple of bits in already to make up the meals. And this week I've not really brought much meat. So let's get into the video and then I will tell you what I'm going to be making this week. So over here, we've got two big bags of jacket potatoes, baking potatoes, whatever you call them. They're a really good size. You get probably about six or seven in each bag. So I've got two bags because obviously we're a large family and we may use those for a lunch this week as well. I've got a three pack of red onions, three pack of brown onions, white onions, baby plum tomatoes, I've got two cucumbers, these ruby romaine heart lettuces, two packets of chestnut mushrooms, some of the beef steak mince 10% fat, some bacon, two blocks of, blocks of cheese, I've got a mature and an extra mature, some butter, this is a really good dupe for layer pack. It's £2.15 in Lidl. It has gone up slightly, but much cheaper than Lair Pack. I've got this Tex-Mex dip selection. Some tube yogurts for the kids. Two of these Simply Garlic Baguettes. Some frozen garden peas. I've got two boxes of these steak and ale pies. You get two in each, and I've got two boxes. I've also got two boxes of these steak and gravy pies. You get four in each and that's for the children. I picked up some steak cooked chips. An essentials pepperoni pizza in case anyone gets hungry. Some of these bake at home bread rolls. You get six mini ones. I've also got a large we get here which I'm going to use shortly for tuna, mayo, cucumber, baguette for our lunch. Not brought too many treats this week. We've just got a pack of penguin mini biscuits for Archie. Some caramelised biscuits which are a bit like biscoffy ones. Some of these jam and cream, a bit like jammy dodgers. We've got some of these cheese curl crisps, which are for Archie's lunches. Tin wise, we've got some four pack of tuna chunks in brine, two real mayonnaise jars, a tin of sweet corn, some tomato puree, beef stock cubes, two tins of chopped tomatoes, a chicken soup and a vegetable soup. I've also got some of these tortilla wraps. I brought three packs of these. We've got 15 British eggs, two four pints of milk, two Pepsi Max cherries because they're on offer for $1.49 much cheaper than anywhere else. Picked up some of this cheaper version of the Coke 
bit like Pepsi Max Coke for Ellie and two loaves of thick white toasted bread. So that's everything I've picked up this week. As I say, I have got a few bits in already. So for meals this week, we're going to be having pie, chips and garden peas one day. I'm going to be making a homemade spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread. Another night we're going to be having jacket potatoes with possibly cheese and beans or tuna with a little side salad on the side. And then for the final night, I'm going to be making quesadillas, which is what this Tex-Mex dip is for. In the quesadillas, the kids like pepperoni and cheese. I've already got the pepperoni. And for like lunches, we've just got some soup with the bread rolls have jacket potato one day which we've actually got some prawns in the freezer to have with those as I say we're gonna have some tuna baguettes now for lunch and yeah that's everything I've picked up as I say this is only going to last four days and I spent roughly 50 pounds which isn't too bad for our size family considering I usually spend between 250 and 300 pounds a week one of the cutbacks i do want to make is on our food shopping bill i understand that being a large family means we are going to have quite high food costs however 250 to 300 pound a week is a bit ridiculous and that's just purely because of how much food has gone up recently so if anyone else has any like ideas on how we can make some more cutbacks just say we're not struggling towards the end of the year for birthdays and christmases leave a comment down below also if you've got any budget recipes meal ideas i'd really appreciate that too and yeah that is everything just a short food haul this week i'm afraid but once again thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one which is going to be a Halloween haul. I'm going to do it in two parts so that will be part one and that should be out by the end of the week. I've got some really exciting bits to show you all and then part two will follow a bit later on. See you next video. Bye.